Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this interactive card animation in Figma. This kind of animation is great for modern websites, especially for team section or product sections. It feels dynamic and adds a fun, polished touch to your design. There are different ways to achieve this effect, but I've broken it down into a simple method for beginners. It's very easy to follow. So without further ado, let's get started. I've already created the assets. The images are downloaded from Lummy, and I've also prepared the copy text, button, color palette, etc. So let's start designing. First, create a new frame using the desktop preset or set custom dimensions if you prefer. Now, apply a background color from your palette. I'm going with a soft, neutral tone to keep the visuals clean and let the content stand out. Next, add a layout grid to the frame. I'm using a 12 column grid with a 24 px margin. This will help us align everything neatly and maintain consistency. Now, let's build the main section. Take the pre written heading text, body copy, and the button and paste them into the frame. Arrange them like this. Next, I'll change the fonts. I'm setting the heading font to Space Grotesque and the body font to Roboto. Then I'll add some space between them. This helps with readability and creates breathing room in the layout. Looks good so far. Let's make it more interesting. Add a stroke with this color and set the stroke weight to around 48 px. Place it behind the heading like this. That looks great. Now, let's add the images into the frame. Copy all the images and paste them into your main frame. I'm resizing each one to 660px wide by 457px high. This gives us a consistent card size for the animation. I think I'll bring them down here. To make the cards feel more modern, let's round their corners. Select all the image frames and set the corner radius to 49px. I think this image looks a bit dark. Let's increase the exposure slightly to make it brighter. Also, change the fill mode to crop and adjust the image so it fits nicely inside the frame. Now let's add some text to first image card. Paste the text which I created before, turn it into an auto layout, and place it at the bottom of each image frame. Auto layout helps you keep spacing consistent. Repeat the same text layout for the other image cards. Once that's done, arrange all the cards horizontally in a row. Group them inside a new frame and apply auto layout to this group as well. Now, select these three image cards and change their width to 260px. Drag and drop them into your main frame. To make the interaction effect, hide the text on the second, third, and fourth image cards S. We only want the active card, the one that gets clicked, to show its text in the final animation. Double check everything, make small adjustments, and align everything perfectly with the grid. Now everything looks good our first screen is ready. Let's create the other frames for the animation. Duplicate the first frame. Then, change the first image card width to 260px and the second image card to 684px. If the first image looks squeezed, don't worry. It's because we had set it to crop earlier. Change it to fill, then back to crop. This will reset the image position and make it look right again. Now, hide the text in the first card and unhide the text in the second card. The second screen is ready. Now duplicate the second screen and repeat the same steps for the third screen. Once it's done, duplicate again and do the same for the fourth screen. Each frame should focus on a different image card being enlarged with its text visible. Now all the screen designs are ready, but there's one thing left before we move on to the prototype. We need to set all image fills to crop in every frame. This helps the animation look smoother. So let's do that now. Now, 
Done. Now, let's add the animation. Go to the Prototype tab. Click on the first frame. Click the second image and add an interaction to the second frame like this. Change Trigger to Click. Animation to Smart Animate. And make duration 800 milliseconds. Curve to Gentle. This gives the animation a nice bouncy feel. Repeat the same for all other image cards, linking them to their respective frames using the same settings. Once everything is linked, hit the play button to preview your animation. You'll see how clicking on each card smoothly expands it while showing the related text. The bounce adds a fun and modern touch to the interaction. And that's it. That's how you create a smooth, interactive card animation in Figma. It's a simple idea, but it looks very professional and adds great value to your websites. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, share it with someone who might need it, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel and lets me keep making more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.